<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I'm with a special guest. This is Kevin Teeter. And Kevin and I go back a long ways. Kevin was our uh, intern. He worked for us several years ago. And uh, he's going to be here today talking about a, a new product that he's developed. And uh, Kevin, tell me a little bit about yourself and what we're going to be doing today. So, yeah, this is something that came to my mind while working with Greg is uh, just seeing Greg's land improve with daily moves of cattle. It's a it's a really powerful way to use cattle to impact the land, improve the land, and ultimately make you more money off of the land that you have access to. Um, so just thinking about you know getting started on my own, having a young family, being busy, how how would I make that work? What tools are available? to move cattle while I may be at home or at work or whatever. Um, everybody's got busy lives. So just figuring out a way to help farmers and something that I could use myself to run a business um, while still being able to spend time with family and such. Um, so I ran across a product that's out there um, it was going to be far too expensive for me to consider, so I looked at developing my own. And this is what I've come up with. It's taken a couple years to develop, but it's a, it's a standalone timer. It runs all by itself. It uh, can schedule for up to a week in advance. Um, it runs off of four double A's. It'll last up to a year on a set of batteries, and you can schedule the timer to open as many times a day, up to 16 times a day for an entire week. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can do, you know, once a day moves for a week if you had seven of these set up in front of you. You could be moving every single day and then just come out on Saturday and take these gates up and move them along your paddocks. Um, so what you're talking about, Kevin, is this temporary gate opener, your cattle are going to be able to move while you're at work or, yeah, or sleeping exactly. or on exactly. vacation. Yeah. So labor and your time, time is a critical, critical issue. We, we all have less of it, it seems like. <laughs> You know? Yeah. So this absolutely. is absolutely. And for the farmer who's just starting out, you're likely working a job in town. You've got a little piece, 15 acres, 30 acres, whatever, running a few head. Um, if you're doing weekly moves because you can only get out there maybe once or twice a week, and you switch to doing daily moves or twice daily moves, well, you're going to see your land improve very rapidly. You're going to be able to run more cattle, make more money, and start moving towards farming full-time sooner. Correct. So um, this is a tool that you can do a lot of different things with it. Um, even if you're a, a full-time farmer already, like Greg, if you wanted to experiment with higher impact in certain areas, but you've got other jobs you'd like to do throughout the day, you don't want to be moving them right. six times a day. Right. So you could set up six of these in the morning, go about your other duties, and by the evening they'll have moved six different times. So. Yeah, this is... Uh... And your your website or your business is called Teeter Farm Tech? Yes, sir. Yep. Teeterfarmtech.com is my website. That's where I'm selling the product. Okay. Um, so I really focused on keeping my costs down so I can pass that on to you guys as the end users and consumers. So this unit with the reel... So everything you see minus the posts, you'll get for two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Okay. Um, I really tried to pay attention to using um, attachment points that the farmers are already going to have some soft wire. They know how to use a drill set, so it's simply a matter of putting some soft wire through 
the fence post of your choice and then just wiring it up same on the other side okay so you got this little bracket here on the top yep this will be part of that 275 and then this is just three quarter inch pvc pipe okay down to the ground yep so well, kevin the thing i liked about it when you came out here and set that up you did it in about half half a minute you didn't have a steel post driver you didn't have a lot you didn't have a lot of tools right yeah it to be able to use a product on a consistent basis it's got to be almost seamless um, so I wanted this to be part of the kit that you would carry on your four-wheeler or your side-by where you've got your timers already mounted on a dedicated step-in post, your reel is mounted on a dedicated step-in post, and all you got to do is set them out there, pull your brace back, and step this yep. support post in. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to tell you, let me uh, venture off on animal performance. If you can move your animals, it, let's just say once a day versus, you know, you're not moving them at all. It's going to help the animals. The performance zone is going to skyrocket. Your pasture is going to skyrocket because you're getting more density. You're getting more rest behind you because you're actually moving them, letting, letting that grass rest behind you. And that's yeah. huge. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what you got there. Let's operate this thing. You've got it. So now you've got it locked in there. Yep. And you can so set that to open uh, every hour or every 15 minutes, whatever. It's it's whatever you want. It's as small as one minute increments. So you can move your cows every one minute? <laughs> you could if you wanted to. <laughs> that's, that's some dedication there. <laughs> but yeah, I can show you how it opens. Um, so we'll just demonstrate that here. If the timer was activating, it's just oh, going to release. Whoa, there it went. And there it goes. And now the cows, they're going to hear that. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to get yep. trained. As soon as they hear that noise, they're gone. They're going to yep. go through there. Yep. Well, that's so, pretty cool. Let's do that again. I, yeah. You almost got me by surprise there. <laughs> so you're just going to grab the handle. Yep. Okay. Bring it back. Now that's got electricity in it. Uh, yep. From the other end, because you got, let's go look at that. You've yep. got a little, uh, I see an alligator clamp down here. Is that what this is for? Yep. So this uh, alligator clip. Okay. Yep. This is what will electrify the reel. This is braided yep. wire. Okay. Or, yep. Um, so it's got the filaments in it. So if you hook that to your stub fence or whatever you've got coming right. up here. Right, your power feed. Yep. You're good to go. You're good to go. Wow. So. Let's, I'm going to stand back that way. Now you go ahead and activate that. How did you activate that, by the way? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I, we'll talk about that at all. You, had a, you got a remote. Check yeah. this out. Whoa. Folks. It's open. Now, how wide is that opening you just opened there, uh, Kevin? That's uh, 20 feet. 20 feet. Yep. So the cows now can walk through here. And I'm going to tell you, folks, all it takes is one. One animal, and they're going to get onto it. Yeah. And um, I had a, a short farming experience in North Carolina. And I, um, when I arrived there, I was a big fan of Greg Judy's. had read his books and... They had already put the cattle up in a sacrifice yard, and I begged them to let me graze them just for a few days. <laughs> so they said, yes, that you can go ahead and graze them. So I calculated my paddock size. I set them out there, and on day three, they knew what time I was going to show up in the morning, and they were all waiting on that fence line. Yep. So it, it doesn't take long to no. get cattle in a habit. They'll know when those timers are set. Yes. So. Well, this not only would work on a beef grazing operation, it also works on a dairy operation. Uh, I talked to a guy that had uh, seven of your competitors' latches. Now, folks, the competitor latch, I haven't priced them lately, but they're over $450, I believe. Yep, yep. And so you're roughly coming in there at half, half, yep. half the yep. price. Just about half. What I'm also providing that the competitor doesn't provide is I'm giving you the ability to set it up on a step-in post. So I'm giving you the bracket. Yep. You can come up with that three-quarter inch PVC pipe 
right and set it up so it's easy to do the competitor just gives you a velcro strap you have to kind of innovate figure on out how you're going to hook it on to to set yeah. it up to your so this, this is the full meal deal yeah, so, yeah i'm trying to make it um like a diy kit i you know, I mean, it'd be nice if I could sell you the fence posts already, but the problem with that is different regions of the country use different posts. If you get down into Arkansas, they like the steel posts, the pigtails, because yep. they got so much rock. Right. And then if you get up into like southern Minnesota, those areas in the sand drift areas, they got sandy soil. They want something with a big long spike. Right. And then if you're in Missouri clay, you don't you don't want either of those that much. You know, you you want a decent spike, but you don't need it real long no. in the clay. So That's right. That's everybody's right. got their own posts. I wanted to send out a kit that you can put it on whatever post you prefer. And it's just expensive to ship things that are long. Yes. So if I can put this all in a little, you know, one foot by 18 inch box and ship it to you yeah that keeps my cost down that keeps your cost down that's what you're all about it. Yeah. passing that, that cost savings on to the customer and folks everything's skyrocketing up in price uh, the government keeps telling us there's no inflation but there it's all around us and if you're living and breathing you know it is so i'm going to go wrap up uh kevin thank you for your time and showing your product and again your website is called what Teeter Farm Tech, yep, and I've added a page there that has TeeterFarmTech.com. Yes, sir, yep, TeeterFarmTech.com. And I've added a page that has videos on how to assemble all this, so I Perfect. walk you through all that. Perfect. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Kevin, and Kevin's a good friend, and we've, we've known each other forever, and Kevin's the kind of guy that he's always looking at a better way to do things, and I, I love him for that, and I just really appreciate his friendship. Kevin, we're going to sign off here. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Uh, folks, we'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button on the way out and check under the description of this video. I will have a link to uh, Kevin's uh, website where you can find out more about his uh, automatic gate opener here. Y'all have a good one.